So we're actually going to start with using some of these charms today so I can show you how these work. Right here we have the sea star and the seahorse. So let's get started. So we take this bracelet and we insert it into the charma station. The charma station comes with this bottom piece so you can keep organized, which that's really good when you're making all these bracelets. And then it actually has this suction cup piece that you can stick to the bottom of it. So you put that through here, slide it in, make sure it's stuck. Don't want that coming out either. Team Piper's really bothering me today. So you slide this on and it sticks because it has that suction cup. The first thing we're gonna do is take some of the string. They do have measurements listed, but if you're making your own creation, I recommend just using the whole string to try it out. Then we're gonna take a piece of double-sided tape. We're gonna place it about six millimeters from the edge. However well you can guesstimate that is perfect. Then we're just gonna wrap that around. Perfect. So then we're gonna take our string and gonna tie it around where the double-sided tape is. Make sure you tie it well, cause it would really stink if this comes out in the middle of the creation. And then we're gonna tie it again. Just make sure it's really tight guys. And I don't mean tight like cool, I mean make sure it's actually on the bracelet. So now we're gonna wrap this around. Again, I use the whole string and it usually gives you measurements, so that's why it's all crazy. Then you're gonna take this back through. And you're basically just gonna wrap this around until the bracelet's completely wrapped in string. Team Piper, can I have a pair of scissors? They're right there. Right there. Right there. See them? I'm just gonna cut the string so we can wrap it around a little easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue wrapping the string around the bracelet. So, I'll probably have a high pitch voice right now because this is where it's gonna be sped up. And you keep going. And guys, make sure you make sure to pull the string through every once in a while. Almost there. Just wanna push that up and make sure the string's really tight. So let's use another piece of double-sided tape just to make sure this stays on. And guys, the kits come with a lot of double-sided tape, so if you're crazy like me and need a lot, it's fine. Just gonna tape this like we taped the other one. Okay, and let's just keep wrapping this down until it hits the double-sided tape. So let's double knot this like we did the other one just to make sure it doesn't fall out. Okay, triple knotted it, that should work. So now we're gonna cut this off. So then to add a little bit more of a design, we're gonna take the pink sparkly string, because I really like this string, and gonna see, let's make it about that long. Cut it off. Tie a knot as a starting point, and don't worry, we won't wrap this one all the way around. Just guys, make sure that's a double knot once again, or a triple knot, if you wanna really make sure it's in there. Also, guys, you can use glue to secure the knots if you want to. Let's go around. So guys, you can kind of just swirl this around and keep it more far apart. The other one was our base, so it had to cover the entire bracelet, but this one's more just for design. And guys, if you want to use pre-made designs, they're also in the instruction booklets that all the kits come with. Kinda just really wanted to use the glitter string, though. So let's tie this one off right above the other one so it kind of like secures it. You can secure this with glue if you wanna make sure that it won't come off. Usually it would stick to the hard surface but I'm on a tablecloth, that's why it keeps moving around. So we're gonna cut that off. So guys, for this bracelet I use the deluxe kit but I use seaside charms. So if you want to, you could just make this with the deluxe kit or just with the seaside kit. Except the Charma Station comes with the deluxe kit. So the charms are pretty easy to slide on. We can just slide them through here. And because of the knots we've tied, they won't slide past. So now we need to secure the bracelet. So it comes with these. Don't secure this yet. Just put it on there to hold. And now we're gonna put the second one on there. And then we're gonna secure both sides by pushing 
each opposite band into the suction cup area, we can make it stick. So push that into there. There we go. Okay. So guys, the Charmazing bracelet is done. So there's the seahorse. And there's the star. Pretty cool, huh? And here's another design I made before. So this one's got a dragon and a lime green gemstone. I think of it as green fire. These are both from the nature world. Let me explain how the app works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of the cards it comes with. You see this card? This is all the information you're gonna see when you scan your charms into the app. So the charms have a special code on the back and you can scan it into the app. And then the app gives you Charma according to what charms you scan in. And the charms, like I said before, have different points for different categories. For example, this one is the Lucky 7. It has 8 points for the Fortune category, 4 points for Creativity, 3 points for Energy, and 2 points for Strength. And there are more categories too. Like this one has a Love category on it, and it has 4 points for that. This is the Clover, by the way. So when you scan those into the app, you can get different points and become a Charm Master. So good luck with the contest, and I can't wait to see which one of you win. Thanks guys so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye!